<clears throat> Hello everybody, this is Scott, and today we'll be looking at the IOBit Uninstaller 3, which was recently updated with the Advanced System Care 7 update, and as you can see, there have been quite a few changes, especially with the user interface. I'm not quite sure if I like the new user interface, it, it's fine, it's kind of nice how everything's organized, but I, I still got, I got used to the old one, so it'll probably be one of those things that I'll have to get into. However, it's still a very nice service. It comes with all your heavy programs and lists them by the size, and, the, and then it has recently installed programs. And uh, large programs will go over here. We have St uh, Star Wars Old Republic, Planet Side 2, Team Fortress. All my games are generally up there. And then the Google Web Designer is up here too. The infrequently used, it, I use all my programs pretty frequently. My Windows updates are over here. Browser plugins, don't mess with this. Do not mess with browser plugins unless you know what you're doing and you're sure that something you're using is unsafe. Essentially, if you install a bad file on Chrome, you want to remove it through here, but don't remove anything unless you know that it is. Install program automatically. Um, just don't fiddle with things that you don't understand. File Shredder is, is added to this, it's kind of new, basically it'll just, you add a file and it'll sh clean it, add a blank file in its space, clean it, and then do it several times. I believe he uses the Gutenm32 overwrite method. Uh, forced uninstall, uninstall a file that doesn't work from the uninstall menu on, build, it's built into Windows, so for instance, you'll always, you'll, you can get a program that doesn't work and the uninstaller won't work so you can try to forcefully uninstall it through this program if not then you'll have to gener you'll generally have to go in and then delete the files through like unlocker and then go ahead and it just delete everything manually other than that there's not a whole lot new to the program it does uninstall better uh, it can find more files to clean up at the end and s let's see if we can give a test what's something that I don't use <laughs> Hmm. I find something that I don't really use all, at all. Wait. No one uses Silverlight. Do they even use Silver? Oh, GIMP. We'll uninstall GIMP. Here, uninstall. It's gonna uninstall GIMP using the built-in uninstaller, and then we'll see what it does. I I I, I like GIMP, but I don't really like use it a lot. Powerful scanning. See, it's got that new cool menu. All right. I'm trying to see if I can get one with the freaking. What's a program that generally installs badly? Do we even need Microsoft Silverlight? I've never ran into an application that's needed Silverlight. I'm either just really lucky or it's just very useless because no one uses it. Back in a, back a while ago, there was like a Microsoft basically had a war with Adobe trying to figure out which would be the next replacement, and Microsoft basically made Silverlight as a replacement for like I believe they were going after Flash. It didn't work. Microsoft lost that war. They keep it because some applications are built off Silverlight. They really shouldn't be because it's useless. Silverlight's a very useless, horribly like stupid thing. I don't even know how old this thing is. I, You know what? We're going to uninstall it. If we can find it. Here it is. Uh, when was this updated? Hasn't been updated in a long time. Yeah, we can get rid of it. I don't care much for it. It's recommended to have silver light, but you never run into anything that uses it. Think about it. You're online, what do you use? Java. Uh, anything else that you may use is Flash Player. But other than that, everything is really HTML now. It has kind of the way I want things to go. Some people are going to be like, huh. Why is the real-time protector okay? The real-time protection from this program needs to be closed in order to remove Silverlight, which means it's monitoring the installed plugins too. That's kind of smart. Does a powerful scan. It's going to find some rigid. Nope. Well, there we go. So that is the new uninstaller. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.